Today I want to talk about heat bands. Heat bands come from the United Kingdom and they're a way to keep your hands warm without electricity or drugs or chemicals. It's, uh, there's three layers. There's the soft absorbent inner layer. They're in the middle, there, you can't see it, but there's a, a metallic reflective layer and then the outside is a waterproof layer. One size fits all. What I want to do is I'm going to do a test. And uh, you can fast forward to the end of this video to see the results of this test. I'm going to take this really uh, accurate thermometer and measure my hands. Eighty-six point six. I'm going to write that down. Now I'm going to go on the right hand. Eighty-five point nine. Okay. So uh, why don't I warm up the the right hand since that's the one that's colder, and then I'm going to set the timer for ten minutes. So you can fast forward to see the results. But I'm just going to stay here so you see that I'm, you know, let's see, it's a little harder for me to do this because I'm right handed, but you're supposed to put it on fairly snug. Okay, that's pretty tight. I don't want it to be too because the, the whole point of a heat band, let me set the timer. The whole point of a heat band is that you you want to be able to do your normal activities. You don't want to you don't want to uh, you don't want to feel inhibited. Okay. So if you were to wear gloves, of course you'd feel all restricted. And you couldn't do things, but the whole point of a heat band is you have your normal activities that you can do. Okay? So I'm going to try to remember to breathe because I tend to hold my breath and breathe shallow. That's uh, common for people with cold hands. And my hands are cold. It's the middle of July and my hands are cold. And so uh, I've had this uh, for my whole life. And this uh, technique is a way to warm up your hands, but you can still function, you know? So, I'll tell you a little bit about the heat bands. Everybody loses some heat right here because the blood vessels come to the surface. So what the heat bands do is it reflects your natural heat back into your body so that it can keep it warm. That's that's the theory. The manufacturer recommends that you warm your hands up first by putting them in hot water or something and then you put the heat bands on and that way it'll retain whatever heat you already have. But realistically most people aren't going to want to do that. So I'm trying to put it to the most maximum extreme test where uh, I'm just going to see if it warms up my hands without that. Try to remember to breathe. Um, they come in uh, three different sizes. This size right here is the 14 pack. Why do they have 14? It's because, let's say you uh, change them every day, one for each hand, so that's uh, seven days times two, that's 14. They also come in a 30 pack and in a 60 pack. A lot of people have written in some comments. Heat bands have solved a painful problem for my 82 year old mom. Her hands were always cold no matter how high she turned up the heat. Heat bands work, plain and simple. Here's one. 
I'm so happy to have warm feet. I use the heat bands around my ankles rather than my wrists, as you suggest. I've suffered with poor circulation because of Raynaud's for a long time. I live in Colorado because it's so beautiful, but those cold days can really be torture, even in my heated office. I've used heated foot pads that are battery operated for years with a great deal of success and still use them on the really frigid days, but these heat bands have made a world of difference and are not so cumbersome. I happen to have smaller ankles, but another inch on the length of these heat bands would make it perfect. Alright, now, uh, can't wait, let's see how it's doing. Here's 86.4, so that went down on, on my left hand. Let's see how it's doing on my right hand. 86.2, so it went up. It went up. A little bit. That's good. Well, let's wait a full uh, 10 minutes. Can't really play because I got stuff here. I'll just doodle around. So just have to wait, if you don't want to wait, just fast forward the video to the end and see the final result and you can see if the heat bands really do their job, okay? Got to keep breathing because uh, I need oxygen to go into the blood and the blood goes into my hands and warms them up. So it's not just a heat band issue, uh, I got to keep the oxygen flowing and I, I tend to hold my breath had cold hands my whole life and for a piano player it's a little bit disturbing here you are trying to perform and your hands are uh, tend to get cold and when they're cold they feel uh, stiff so this is something that's important to me is to warm up the hands okay now we're at a little bit past five minutes let's see how it's doing 87 on my left, so that warmed up a little bit without anything. 86.3, that's definitely warmer than it was because it was 85.9 on the right hand. Just keep breathing. Try to relax. They're disposable, these heat fans are disposable, so you can put a new one each day if you want, but uh, I think most people don't because they want to save money, so you could definitely wear them several days in a row, but after, uh, I would say, three days or so, you got to put a new one on because they start to get stinky and, uh, and disgusting. Okay, I'm going to uh, test again. Left hand, 86.9. Okay, so originally it was 86.6. Let's see this one. That's 86.9. Okay, so that went up a whole degree. That My right hand is going up at a faster rate. Both hands are going up a little bit. 
my right hand went up at a faster rate. Let's just wait a little bit longer. Let's wait a full 10 minutes. It, 10 minutes is arbitrary. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say that you have to wait 10 minutes or 20 minutes. I don't think there's a set time that you have to wait. I just happened to pick 10 minutes because I think it's a reasonable amount. It's not too long. So I wanted to demonstrate this. Okay, keep breathing. It does look like it's um, doing something because I can see my vein. You know, you, I often don't see my veins. This hand kind of see the veins, but not as pronounced. So that's that's kind of cool. All right, we're just about done here. I'm gonna do the test. <laughs> Left hand, ninety four point six, so that went up quite a bit. Right hand. Ninety-four point six. Wow. Now that means that my right hand, which was colder than my left hand, is now just as warm as my left hand. It's not significant, you know. I mean, it's not. I wouldn't say it's thrilling, but it's still lower than you know normal body temperature ninety-eight point six. I'm still. I'm still cold both hands, but it's definitely warmer. And it looks like the heat bands work. 